good morning friends uh, this is Sri Harsha and uh, this is my first video and uh, the intention of this video is uh, to show you uh, how we can resolve the issues when deploying a vSphere ESXi 6.0 as well as 5.5 uh, in an ASUS board so uh, let me explain what exactly happened recently so uh, for my testing purposes I got a new box uh, it's actually a desktop not a server uh, but uh, this is the configuration which I'm going to put in it's uh, ASUS uh, Z170K motherboard and it's a uh, Skylake Intel Skylake i5 6600 processor it's not K uh, there are two types of processors one is a uh, 6600K as well as a uh, 6600 and uh, if you are a gamer uh, 6600K is very much useful for you because of the overclocking techniques uh, but is we are a it is only for a test lab so I really don't need the overclocking so I just opted for uh, double six double zero now uh, it's a 32 GB which is a 4 into 8 GB DDR4 uh, Corsair now and uh, we have Corsair uh, SMPS and uh, cooler master k380 cabinet now <coughs> enough with the configuration details what exactly i'm facing the issues here is see uh, i got a new machine and uh, i'm very excited to install a uh, esxi server on that one used for my lab purposes as well as training purposes now the first thing i came i just created a usb uh, usb boot from usb so that i created a total esxi so from the iso i created a usb and tried to boot it now uh, i was ending with an error saying that there are no network adapters found basically so if you see <clears throat> so you're going to end up with this error okay so no not at all for no no network adapters were detected uh, so what will happen is uh, what exactly the problem first of all now uh, normally the ASUS Z170 boards are coming with the Realtek NIC uh, network interfaces the problem is from for ESX 5.1 uh, VMware has not provided the Realtek drivers as a default as a default into the image so due to that reason when you install ESX 5.5 or 6.0 or 6.0 update 1 you are going to end up with this error now uh, I googled for a while and uh, it's not a big error we can simply resolve it uh, only thing is you need to uh, you need to go ahead and recreate the image okay so for that first of all we need a driver and then we need to inject this driver so what exactly I'm going to do this is what I'm going to do get a ESX 6 point sorry ESXi uh, 6.0 ISO and we're going to download a software software and driver drivers third one is create a custom image so first thing is uh, ESX 6.0 ISO I already have it so I need to download the software so let's google it if I go to web mm, Now, if you see the first link, I used ESXi install failed as is uh, actually it's in seventy. But anyway, first link. Mm. 
okay so the software which I'm talking about is this one ESXi customizer uh, it's a 7 or 2.7.2 so let me this is the software ESXi customizer Now uh, we also need to have a driver. Now uh, for the access, right? Access uh, the NIC card coming with Realtek is RTL eight triple one. If you are if you are buying, actually it is triple one H, but uh, but eight triple one works. It, this is for I'm talking about Z one seventy Intel chipset boards. Okay, please keep that in mind. Now I need to have this one. So there is a, a beautiful uh, link available where you can download the latest one. So let me find it out for you. Okay, this is this is the one very good. Uh, this is the link which I'm, I was intended to show you. So this is a how to make your unsupported NIC work in 5.16.0. So this is the same thing which I was explained, but uh, I already have the software, uh, the imaging software. What what I need to have is I need to have uh, the drivers. I need to download the drivers. So I'm searching for a link here. this one if you see v front online deport right uh, you can always go here and you can type rtl uh, rtl uh, stands for actually for real tech in this one uh, what i'm interested is going to here uh, net 55 or 8168 so if you just click on this one so updated driver for Realtek 8168, 8111, 8411 and uh, 8118 basically. So this will satisfies our requirement basically. Yeah. So what you can do is you can direct you can download this. Which I'm downloading it here. Or you can also download a zip file. And uh, I also will download the customizer file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, ESX customizer, and I'm going to download this. So they have they have actually made some changes. Uh, now they are making it a PowerShell script, but I'm interested. There is a tool here uh, which which will a GUI tool. So I'm downloading that as well. So it's downloading. It's a 2.5 MB file. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to open this, uh, open this ESXi customizer file, and then we're going to select the ISO, and also we're going to select the file, uh, the WIF, uh, the the WIF file or the zip file, the driver which we want to inject into the uh, <coughs> the image, and then we create a custom ESXi image. Yeah. Let's do this. But uh, Asus 170K is a very beautiful system, so I'm I'm, I'm trying to get uh, my test lab up and running uh, to to work on on app EMC uh, as well as 
uh, VMware. I mean, a lot of things are there in the pipeline. So, but I'm, I'm planning to get one more uh, because of the performance which I see. <coughs> Let's wait for it. Almost done. Okay, it's done. So I'm going to extract to here. So now I'm going to right click, run as administrator, click on yes, which will open a file. Okay, if you see this is asking for original ISO, select the or offline bundle and then it's going to put uh, the customized DSO. Anyway, just let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm just going to browse. I'm planning to select computer, my data coming into VMware. Mm, okay. If you see here, uh, it's a VMware VMWiser, which is a hypervisor 6.0 update one. I just click on open. Now we have selected the ISO. Now the next we need to select the file which we want to inject. Uh, so which will get added, which is nothing but this file. Yeah. So I'm going to this or this, anything can be done. So I'm just going to select this file. So I'm going to browse it, go to downloads, and select offline bundles. I'm going to select, click on open. Now, where you want to put this? Uh, I'm fine. I'm going to want to put it in downloads itself, and click on run. It is saying officially unsupported. Please use the PowerShell script. But I checked it out; it worked very well. Because uh, if you are fine with the PowerShell script, you can go ahead. But if you want to make a uh, little easy, you can use this tool. Uh, it's work working perfectly fine. like I made a mistake give me one minute I run, I'll run it again yes okay 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 I'm going to enable automatic update check I'll just take it out or run okay I should have taken out the check mark now this is going on it's going to extract checking the bundle so do you want to add the new VIP file so yes click on yes so this driver will get added okay all done the customer is created here so click on ok and goodbye going back you have your custom file now the driver is injected into this one now if you want to make an uh, boot from USB uh, there is one beautiful called as a Rufus uh, it's a very nice one I always use that to boot uh, not only uh, VMware it's also a boot with Windows and everything yeah uh, let's download it it's done run it yes so but the problem is I didn't install or uh, I didn't actually connect any USB so I'm going to connect a USB now it is 32 SanDisk USB so MBR and I'm going to select FAT32 please select this one now the ISO select this go to the download select the custom ISO and, and you don't need to just click on start so the ISO image seems to be absolute no problem just go ahead with no don't worry about the error So it will remove all the data if there is any files please take a backup because it's going to format everything 
and it's going to create a bootable USB where you can install the ESX. We're almost done. So wait for a couple of minutes. So it's done. <coughs> Just click, click on close. You can go to yes, you can see always see everything is there. So you need to change the boot order in your machine to USB and then boot it, it will work, uh, work perfectly fine. Yeah. So <coughs> this is what, what we did to the conclusion. We just have a ESX, a six point ISO. We downloaded a ESX uh, customizer and the drivers. So from where I have downloaded the drivers, this is where you need to download the drivers. So and where exactly I downloaded the, uh, this is where I downloaded the file. And I created the custom image and using the roofers, USB. Custom bootable USB is being created. Okay, so these are the four steps, and you can get your new uh, ASUS 170K or EA or uh, different versions are there in Z170 chipset. Everything can be made it uh, working using this method. Yeah. And please be free, feel free to email me uh, for your suggestions. I always uh, need your suggestions to improve myself better. So uh, you can send me email to inquiry at mavericktext.com. This is my email address. And uh, thank you very much for watching this. Have a good day.